when I discovered the fair stage books, um, that was really exciting for me. Because Talking's always been in my life, but it never once occurred to me that I could contribute to um, his legacy or be part of these stories. I remember the first time that I that I saw myself in costume, full costume, with my ears on. That was I was very special. The number of times I wore a bathrobe and said, "Thou shalt not pass." This is this is the best job ever. I always feel like these are like speed dating and, and I always, <laughs> yeah, you know, and I feel like I should be doing a puppet show because everybody's looking at me and I should either do comedy or something like that. No pressure, Dave. So here's what we're going to do. Cynthia, I'm actually going to start with you. Uh, we're going to have fun. Uh, give me one word to describe your character. You don't have to tell me why or anything unless you want to, but we'll just do one word. Go ahead. Thoughtful. That works. That works. Robert, you're up. Often. Sarah, no pressure. Loving. Okay. Daniel. Shadowy. <laughs> Ooh, mysterious. Okay. This is one question, and I I love the I love this room. Okay. I just I, I feel a connection to this room. So there's one question <laughs> that I wanted to ask everybody. What well, I'm not, I was only going to use it for one room, and this is the room. You all get this. Question. <laughs> this is it. You this said that's room. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Go on YouTube. You, I'm not asking anybody else. This because I, I feel the energy. Did anyone, and it doesn't need, need to be you, either one of you four, but it could be anyone. Did anyone, and it's not in the script, probably. I don't know. I haven't seen the entire series. They only gave us two episodes. But <laughs> did anyone ever show up on set just to be silly? and say, my precious. <laughs> I mean, I will now. <laughs> Probably everybody. I literally everybody. <laughs> oh, so that's a real thing. So everybody at Robert, you're you're really grinning and you're 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 being shy about this. I, Robert, crazy. actually, yeah. I have a feeling if anybody did it, it would have been Robert. <laughs> I, I I was trying to think about it. Yeah. I don't think I did. Well, you planted a seed. Now. <laughs> yeah, you planted a seed. Yeah. And I bet I better not see that any other interviews uh, the rest of the day. All right, Robert, I'm going to stick with you. I'm going to go down the line, and this will be my speed dating session with you all. I want to know what your wow moment was when you were on set. Was it in costume? Was it the fact when you when you were cast? You know, it is Lord of the Rings. Tell me what your wow moment was. I think it's a myriad of, of wows, to be honest. You know, there is no singular wow. As you're asking the question, I was like, in my mind, I was thinking about when I got to roll them, when, you know, I got there and the set and then the years and, the, you, you know, and and and, uh, and the books and the material. Like, I guess I'd go there. Actually, I've arrived on it. I think for me, it's like, it's just <laughs> when I discovered the fair stage books, um, that was really exciting for me because they're so different to any of his other work. And I just loved diving into them and uh, devouring them. And I still do. Sara, I want to know your wow moment. Uh, I think like Rob, there is so many. Again, I, I had all these images flashing in my head <laughs> yeah. when I got cast, yeah, when yeah. I first got on the set um, last week at <laughs> Comic-Con, two weeks ago at Comic-Con. <laughs> but I do remember, I was just thinking, um, there was one moment where we were all, it was really, really late at night. It was like three in the morning and we were all um, doing a night shoot and all the half were in a tent and um, we all were playing celebrity head to keep ourselves going and we all just got the giggle something shocking, got in trouble from the sound guy myriad times but I just remember we were all sitting there as halfwits playing celebrity head and giggling and I was like this is this is the best job ever <laughs> what celebrity head is it it's where you have a name above your head and we've got a guess um which celebrity when each you, person is did you have to have apparatus for that on the <laughs> <laughs> we're ingenious we worked it out on the spot yeah. you know what there is it, you can also do it on your phone if i'm not mistaken i think you oh can, yeah we yeah. were half yeah, see? didn't have phones yeah no phones, <laughs> no phones oh my gosh i love you all <laughs> in fact that, let's just all go and play it right now uh, all right cynthia i want to know your wow moment because this is really um, cool. i mean many wow moments as they said wow moment you know, getting cast, wow moment, my first day of filming, wow moment, first time stepping uh, onto the Numenor set, but a new wow moment that I'm remembering, because there are many to, to sort of sift through, but the first time I sort of saw my complete costume of armor 
because as queen regent, I had the expectation I'm going to have flowing gowns and robes and encrusted jewels. And of course, that also was wow. But I have this golden armor. And because it is Numenorean, there's a sort of a fish scale motif. And I had all the armor on and this incredible helmet. And this was all conceived by Kate Hawley, our amazing costume designer. And I just thought, oh my God, wow. Wow. <laughs> a queen in golden armor. Like, wow. So yeah, many wow moments. But that was one that I just just remembered. All right, Daniel, you're going to well, take us home right now, my friend. When I saw, that exact, I saw that exact image plastered on a San Diego. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Rather, yes. Rather, just unbelievable. It was incredible. Yeah, I think um, I think for me, actually, the biggest wow, the sort of culmination wow, was when we all got to sit down together and watch the first three episodes and seeing storylines that, because I haven't, what we weren't able to watch, you know, each other film. We didn't necessarily always interact with each other. Um, and so to see everybody's work was extraordinary. I thought it was, I was so, you said this, uh, Rob, at one point about being able to get lost in the show. And I, I sort of relaxed, I watched it and I was really moved and excited by and engaged in and sort of immersed in the world by everybody's performance. So, and the way the show finished, you know, up looking was like, like nothing I've ever seen before. So yeah, incredible. Hello everybody. Hey. 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 Ismail, we talked at uh, Miss Bala, so good to see you again. A while ago, man. How you doing? Yeah. Hey, actually, I'm going to start with you then. Let's all right? go for it. I want to know when this got real for you. Was it when you were cast? Was it a table read? Was it showing up on the set? Was it in costume? When did this get real for you? Wow. It's a seven-part question, man. <laughs> the hell? Um, no, you know, I, you took me in a little bit of a journey because each time I, I, ha I had like a quick memory of, of of all of them. I think, you know, there there are different moments. There are different moments. I remember the first time that I that I saw myself in costume, full costume with my ears on. That was I was very special, you know, because I I came to this. Um, Yes, wanting to be part of, of Lord of the Rings and the lore and everything else, but I came to it with in an emotional way. I, I, I was a very big fan of of the movie franchise and um, a lot of respect for it. And I felt very represented spiritually and intellectually, but not in image. You know, there was not no one that looked like me when I was a child, and that was very that was very present. Um, so, you know, I, I traversed through life and had this, this dream of becoming an elf. Um, so when, when I was, I saw myself in the mirror in full armor and with my ears on and I was an elf and I just, I, I couldn't, but you know, there was a tear or two, non-elven cause we don't cry that much, but it was a tear, like it smiled a little boy, um, felt very proud. And I know that. That magic that I felt looking at myself in that mirror is something that um, I know a new genera generation, but also adults are gonna feel. That's my guy, that's me. Now I exist in this world, you know? Dude, you literally just are giving me chills right now. In fact, I love that so much that I wanna go down the line then. Markella, I'm gonna go next to you. Hey. I wanna know when this got real. I love this question and I didn't think we'd go so deep and I love this. So I wanna hear everybody's story. Markella, when did this get real for you? When did it get real for me? I think I I always keep coming back to this because so occasionally the showrunners and the actors would so generously allow us to visit sets and we'd kind of go and see see some scenes and then kind of hide in the corners. And I remember going to to visit um, Charlie Vickers and uh, and Modvith Clark and you know uh, at a scene that they were doing on the raft and it was so incredible to see them in their costumes these people that you know we would hang out with outside offset and to be able to see them get on a raft to get to the actual raft that they were filming on and just how the crew they were crew like kind of in in large amounts of water just swimming around with cameras and and touching you know Morveth up and it was just it, it was such an, an incredible uh experience to be able to see how it really does take a village and and the crew really you, you see the work of the crew on on your screens uh really to kind of the 
the detail and the specificity with which they've created the sets and the costumes and um, so that for me it was just quite a surreal moment to go wow this is this is the result of so so many people's hard work and passion for bringing Tolkien's some of Tolkien's lore to life it was it was quite amazing. Emma, you're up next. I want to hear your wow moment. Like, when did this get real? Um, you know, I just had a, I've been saying something different, but I just had this memory that popped into my head as Markella was talking. Um, I remember when I first got to New Zealand, they had been shooting for months and I was in an office and someone showed me an iPad and it was, there was a dwarf on screen and uh, two elves having a dinner. And I was like, oh, this is so beautiful. Who's that? And I pointed at the dwarf and and Patrick McKay said, that's a wine. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even recognize him. And I was like, do you want to go see this in person? It's happening right now. This is a live shot of that. And then we walked across a parking lot <laughs> and walked into a forest where this was all happening. And it was like, it was like 2D became 3D. And I was like, ah. I remember that day, remember? actually. I remember you. Yeah. I was terrified. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Owain, is, is your big wow moment when she pointed to the... No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I want to know when it got real for you, Owain. Um, for me, the kind of the, the, the moment of realizing what I was in um, was uh, when Rob was, was down in old Khazad Doom stood in the middle, very tall on a box, and about 50 dwarves were around him, and he was just doing a, you know, the a change of lens or something. And I was just sat waiting for this to happen, and I was looking over at my friend, I was just, and I just saw this tall elf with a load of dwarves around it in Khazad Doom with loads of rocks and this incredible set, and I just went, oh my God, I'm in Lord of the Rings. And that was the moment where I, the, the realization that, um, I was in this, you know, world. We're going to talk Lord of the Rings, and I just have a feeling that uh, this is going to be all fun questions, okay? And I'm going to start with you, Leon. Mm -hmm. uh, how much of a dream role is this for you? Did you ever dress up? We all did this as kids, mm -hmm. as characters from Lord of the Rings, but now you're in this, okay? So I want to know, did, did you ever do that as a kid, maybe growing up, or and how much of a dream role this is for you? I was... I mean, so I grew up in Wellington. So uh, Peter Jackson was making his first trilogy when I was in primary school. He was making the second when I was at drama school. Um, it's just always been part of being a Wellingtonian. And my mom was a huge fan of the books, right from as long as I can remember. You know, Tolkien's always been in my life. But it never once occurred to me that I could contribute to um, his legacy or be part of these stories. And then when this character came along, um, for better or worse, I saw a place I could fit. So I'm really, it is an honor to be part of this, no question. Tristan, same question. I saw you smiling, by the way, when I asked that question. So I, I want to know, I want to know what your answer is. <laughs> I don't know where my mind goes, do you know? Hey, that's <laughs> Who did you dress too. up mine as when you were younger and stuff? No, it's just like, when, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I mean, sorry, what was the question again? Well, the question was, okay, all right. Uh, how many times have you said my precious? I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> all right did, how much of a dream role is this for you you know did you ever dress as a character maybe just back in the day we all kind of wanted to be i did yeah yeah I, I didn't um i didn't dress as anybody from lord of the rings i mean maybe lion from uh, thundercats you know i used to put my wellies on in my pants with a sword of omens do you know you know he man or something like that yeah absolutely sorry that's why i was laughing like, oh god Imagine i hope he doesn't yourself. ask me that question and uh, <laughs> you did <laughs> <laughs> you asked it. Um, yeah, it is a dream role. It's a dream come true for me. It's um, a fantastic part. It's a fantastic show. Uh, the books are incredible. The world that Tolkien has created is incredible. So for me, this really is living the dream. Ben, same question for you. How much of a dream role is this for you to be part of this legacy? We, we all agree, you know, the, these stories just have been around forever and they just continue to entertain us. And I've seen, a, they only let us see a couple of episodes before today. And from what I've seen, it just looks massive on the screen. What a production. So how much of a dream is this for you, Ben? Well, I mean, the number of times I wore a bathrobe and said, thou shall not pass, <laughs> I guess, is infinite. Um, but uh, also, the, when I was younger, my brother is, uh, my older brother 
gave me uh, The Hobbit. It was like the first big boy book I ever had. And, and it was gifted for my older brother who loved Tolkien. And um, it, that was a kind of turning point in my childhood. And so for me, it has that kind of familial connection. Like uh, it, it, uh, it and, and like you say, it is epic. The, the amount of, the, the scale of it, yes, but also the amount of work that has gone into it. This army of craftspeople and artists that they've assembled to create our worlds and our wardrobe and uh, to bring it to life is really humbling. All right, gentlemen, thanks for your time. Again, congratulations. Uh, this was a lot of fun and it looks amazing. This series just looks just everything that you want it to be. So be proud. Well, thanks thank a you. Lot. Thanks, thanks for supporting it. Thank you.